Isaiah chapter 12. 12 would be the second kings of our Bible. Wait till we get the king of kings. It's interesting how our Bible is laid out by God. Again, remember the Hebrew Bible. I'm, I'm not ranking on, on the Hebrew Old Testament. Huh? But God has given us a superior word of God, a complete word of God. And we're looking at the millennium. We're looking at the kingdom. And in that day, there's important three words again. Thou shalt say, Israel shall say, O Lord, Jehovah, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, I will praise thee. Well, they're praising today God, but they ain't praising God correctly. They outright reject God, Jesus Christ. They outright reject Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Though thou was angry with me, all right, I'd be coming up to uh, the Syrian captivity of Israel and the Judean captivity by Babylon and the tribulation period. Jacob's trouble is because it, it's, it's the thing. And when I grew up as a child, it used to be, you know, when, when mom called our full name, ooh, you in trouble. Jacob's trouble. You ne When I grew up, you never wanted to have your mom call your full name. The reason why you have a first, middle, and last name is to say, mom ain't happy with you. Thine anger is turned away, second advent. And thou comfortest us. Now see the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. That's God Jehovah. That's God Jesus Christ. Because he's coming back, Revelation chapter 19. Though if you're not a Jehovah witness, that's your trouble. You see that comfortest? What did Jesus Christ say about the Holy Spirit in the Gospel of John? The comforter. But the Holy Spirit it comforts only the Christian and never Israel. When God gives them the new heart, cleanses them of their iniquity and forgives their sin and gives them a new heart and a new spirit. Millennium. Behold, God is my salvation. Israel's going to say this. So let's run back to history. Joshua, Jehovah saved. Mary, you're going to give forth a, a son, and you're going to name his son Jesus. Why? Because Jehovah's going to say, Behold, God is my salvation. The salvation of Israel, the salvation, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, is Jesus Christ. Jesus is God, and God is Jesus. I don't read my Old Testament. We're not done. I will trust. That's Israel in the millennium. That's Israel in eternal life. That's me today. Since April 25th, 1987, I have trusted on the Lord Jesus Christ and I am saved. And you find that in chapter 12, verse 2, talking about the nation of Israel in the millennium. And that's the Gentile today in the church age. And not be afraid. For the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, I haven't done that in a while. Jehovah. That's God of all gods. <laughs> he is the salvation. He is the one you're to trust. And that's Jesus Christ, which the nation of Israel do, does not do today. But individual Jews have and Gentiles have. But this is the millennium as a corporate body of a nation of the children of Israel. One day, Jesus Christ will be their Jehovah. One day, Jesus Christ will be their hope and glory and salvation. That half-breed Jew in Samaria in John chapter 4 said, Hey, we're waiting for, for, the, for the Messiahs. And Jesus says, It is me. A half-breed. 
Sumerians were half Jewish, half Gentile. The Jews don't believe in that. And 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 the nonsense. Oh, they look forward to Calvary. Rejecting the Lamb of God that God will provide Himself. They rejected it, seeing Calvary. If they were looking forward to Calvary, the sign would be Calvary. Oh, we got to sit here and wait. <laughs> Jacob's trouble, the tribulation period, is to show they were not waiting for Calvary. They rejected. One day when the second advent, when Jesus Christ comes, they'll never reject Jesus. They'll never reject God. And that the, the, God ain't finished with the Jewish people. The Messiah, the anointed one, the salvation. When you go to John chapter 4, we won't go there. I'll leave it to yourself. You want to be lazy? You be lazy. You see that Jesus, he said, we're waiting for the Messiah. He says, it is me. But Jesus never broke. Yes, he did. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. And there was no rebuke. Who is the Lord my God? See that capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D? You see that capital J, capital E, capital H, capital O, capital V, capital A, capital H. My Lord, my God. There it is. My Lord. See the Lord, my God. See the Jehovah? That's Thomas. And in him shall be the salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There it is. Here's Jehovah Witness. Oh, you're in trouble. Is my strength. Strength in what? All to be pleased by God. And all my and my song. He also has become my salvation. My salvation. My salvation. So David writes in the Psalms, thy salvation. Thy salvation. My salvation. What is? That's in Jehovah. That's in God. That's in Jesus Christ. Therefore, with joy, they're not having joy today. Man, they got COVID virus 19 just like we do. They got a mix up with government. They're mad at, uh, 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 I can't say his name. What is his name? They're mad at him because they made a pact with Donald Trump and Donald Trump proved to be who he was not be. And they're all upset now. They're not joy over there. Any moment their enemy could fire missiles into them. And with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. Now, joy, you know, it took a lot of work to, to when Rebecca came, she's carrying a, a bucket of water. And she's she's going to be carrying water all the way back home. And probably more than one trip. Because you need a water to wash the dishes. You need a water to, to clean the plate. You need water for drinking. You need water for this and water for that. But Jesus is not God. But did you just miss something? All right, we'll trust that you will not look at the scriptures and we'll look at the scriptures. John, John chapter four. John chapter four. And first we'll look at John four twenty-five. And the woman said unto him, I know that, look at, I know Messiah is coming. All right, so see, she's looking forward to Calvary. Was she there the day that Jesus died? She's looking for the Messiah's. Which calleth Christ. So Christ and Messiah. Where he is come, he will tell us all things. And Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee is he. I am the Messiah's. Whoa, Calvary, let, let her be, let the Samaritans, let the Samaritans be the first ones at Calvary. Because, no. Moses and Elijah showed up at the mountain transfiguration looking forward to Calvary. Were they at Calvary or were they at the mountain transfiguration? They were at the wrong mount. <laughs> now they spoke of his death. 
They spoke of the prophecies of his death. Why did they say, hey, Jesus, hang around? And, uh, you, know, t you know, we were looking forward to Calvary, not Mount Transfiguration. But watch here. Same woman. Same woman. And where we want to go? Chapter 4. And verse 4. He must needs go to Samaria. That's an area half breed Jew. Half Gentiles, half Jew. They were, they were an outcast. Listen, the Jews, they're, they're just racial, you know, bigotry, only us, no Gentiles. Go ask Jonah, go ask Peter. Until Peter tasted what the Gentiles cooked. And, uh oh, here comes the Jews. Out of here. All right, Peter, how do you like these? Po Peter? Peter, it's going to give you some other money. Well, I'll eat the pork chop. I don't know where you are. <laughs> so he's in Samaria. Verse 6, now Jacob's well was there. Verse 7, cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. And he says to her, give me drink. Verse 10, Jesus answered, if thou knewest the gift of God... Who it is that says unto, unto thee, giveth me the drink that words have asked of him, he would have given thee living water. Okay. Verse 14. And whatsoever drinketh of this water that I shall give him shall never thirst. All right. Got it? Read it. Don't do the Old Testament. Yeah, I like that. Old Testament. Isaiah, chapter 12. Ready? Behold, God is my salvation. Again, Gabriel told Mary, name of Jesus, Jehovah saved. Listen up, Jehovah Witnesses. I will trust. I believe it. I believe it said that the nation will trust in them. And not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah, my Lord, my God, is my strength and my song in books. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water. Uh oh! Out of the waters, out of the wells of salvation. What comes out of the wells of salvation? The water of life. There it is. There's Jesus Christ. Who is he? He's the Lord Jehovah. John chapter 4 and Isaiah chapter 12. And I got to make those notes a little bit later. Show that to a Jehovah Witness. And, and well, if you, if you can't twiddle his beads, that's a Catholic. You really think that woman enjoyed going to that well as often as she had to go to that well, carry water all the way back? And in that day, <coughs> there's that expression again, shall ye say, Israel will say, praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his do doings, that's testimony, among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. In the millennium, they're going to be praised in the name of Jehovah, Lord God, who is the water of life. And he'll give testimony to what they were and what they are and what they will be at the millennial stand. Sing unto the Lord. Won't, now, won't that please God? You imagine the day when the nation of Israel, they're in their promised land. They are without sin. The curse is removed. And every Jew is, is standing and sitting and lying down. And the temple service is purely right and, and prophetic and in righteousness and exalting the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Everybody's singing to Jesus Christ and God's in heaven. Like That's how I wanted it. Imagine looking over to Adam and Eve say, that's you guys blew it.
When God showed up in the noonday in the garden, it wasn't to hide from God. Said, Here he comes, Eve. Here comes our creator. Here comes our Jehovah. Here comes our God. Get the best fruits that we got for our animals. Come gather and see. No, they're hiding. That's not how God intended it. Look at Revelation chapter 4. In the millennium, what we just read right now will please God of all. Revelation chapter 4. Watch. Verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, all the nation of Israel in the millennium. Honor all the nation of Israel to God, to Jesus Christ, and power. For thou hast created all things, Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 3, the wife to help me. And thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and, re and were created. We weren't created to hide from God. The nation of Israel was, was not chosen by God to rebel against God and worship Baal and Asherah and Easter and all the other pagan gods. They were not called forth to do the heathen ways of calling the Christmas tree out. They were called to be one family and of that family, the children of Aaron to be the priests, to be right and to do what they're supposed to do the way God prescribed by the law which man couldn't do. That's why Jesus Christ came and fulfilled the law. And they were to be as a nation of people to gather before God in a, in a proper assembly with proper ways and proper things to give all honor and glory to God. And by the time you get to the book of Jeremiah, before the Babylonian captivity, and they just blow it out of proportions. They're worshiping the queen of heaven. And then when the, when the Messiah does show up on this planet, there's a half-breed Jew who says, we're looking for you. Well, what about the Jewish people? Nada. Nicodemus comes, hey, you're a great teacher of God. And you do great miracles. Well, so did Moses, so did Aaron, so did Elijah, so did Elijah. We'll learn that, Lord willing, Sunday night. And the Jews require a son. But he wasn't the Messiah. I mean, at least to the Jew, to Nicodemus he was. One of the few. But they look forward to Calvary. All right, let's count on our hands now. I gotta borrow a couple hands, fingers. Let's count all the all the disciples of the Lamb of Jesus Christ at the cross. Ready? Where was Judas? Oh, he was going to commit himself. He's going to go hang himself. Where was Peter? He's angry, upset, and crying. Where's Matthew? <laughs> I don't know. Where's Andrew? I don't know. 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 Where's John the Beloved? He's right there. And it looks like from the cross of Jesus, it looks like before Jesus dies, it looks like Jesus tells John, all right, take my mother home. It looks like he may have left. Or afterwards. That's not joy. That's not singing. That's not praising. That's not honoring God. The Bible says that God turned to Jesus and said, My God, my God, why has it forsaken me? You know the most stupidest, foolish things I've ever seen? You see these pictures of Calvary and the sunrise. Man, you haven't read your Bible. The Bible says God turned his back, turned off the lights, and there was no light. There was darkness over the land. Where do you get the sun? Oh, yeah, Baal. When Jesus Christ died, it was dark. And when, he, when at the end of the tribulation period, guess what? It's dark like it was on Calvary, and here comes the light. You realize at the end of the tribulation period is where it was left off on Calvary for the nation of Israel? Darkness. John chapter 3, here comes that light. 
and it's going to be great joy, and it's going to be, and God is going to be finally, he's got to give them a new heart and new spirit, but look at it. Sing unto the Lord, for he has done excellent things. He suffered and died according to scripture, was buried and rose again the third day according to the scripture. That's what Jesus says at the end of, the end of Mark, going all the world and preach the gospel. Paul said the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, was buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And at the, at, by, the, by Acts chapter 16, Paul knows about this, and he tells a man that's lost, about to commit suicide, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's the great and excellent things. The Jews don't know that right now. The nation of Israel corporate don't believe that right now. They will one day. This is known in all the earth. Is it known in all the earth today? No. It's not. And sure ain't going on in Mount Zion and Jerusalem today with the dumb of the rock over there. It's not supposed to be the dumb of rock. I forget what they say, whether Gabriel or I don't know, I forget, Muhammad, somebody. No, 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 no. That was the spot where Abraham was going to offer Isaac. And there was a substitutionary uh, uh, atonement by a goat, not a lamb yet, or a ram. And the fact is that Jesus Christ died outside the city. He's going to have a second triumphant entry into the city of Jerusalem, and they're going to receive him next time. And he ain't coming on a mule, he's coming on a white horse. Everybody cry out, crucify him, <laughs> you're going to hell. We'll have not this king, go to hell. I'll tell you, the worst thing for God to ever tell you is to tell you to go to hell. Cry out. You know what people want you to do today when you preach the word? Shut up! People tell me all the time, you're too loud. But then they got the music blaring. <laughs> they get the CD singing, the, 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 the DJ singing loud. And she's got holy words and God is great. And, all this, and they got Bible words screaming out. But when you preach the word of God and you do the, the very word of God true. Shut up! Well, if I want to go to the Hotel California, turn it up. Cry aloud and shout. There I am. Thou inhabitant of Zion. That's going to be the capital of all the world at the end of the millennium with Jesus Christ. For great is the Holy One of Israel. Don't have the Holy One of Islam. Don't have the Holy One of Rome. Don't have the Holy One of Washington, D.C. Don't get the Holy One of England. Don't get the Holy One of China. Get the Holy One of Israel. God's all finished with Israel. Oh, no, he's not. Now watch that. Great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Jesus Christ's throne, the throne of David, is going to be in the middle of it all. And guess who's going to be the center of attention? Our great pastor and our great church. No, 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 no. God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit with the whole entire nation of Israel living right before God. They'll be singing, it'll be joy, it'll be a big old smile on God's face. And the anger will be removed. Glory to God in the highest. We that are saved will see Israel get right one day.